CataractCoach.com, how to fix this traumatic cataract. Severe trauma causes zylar damage and vitreous prolapse. Now you can see there is a big gap there. We see the lens capsule back equator, and then the gap is because the vitreous is coming through that into the anterior chamber. So a little triumph cylinder can help to stain that vitreous that's prolapsed. And now do a 23 gauge bimanual anterior vitrectomy. When you do this, you may need to restain the vitreous with triumph cylinder. Make sure you get it all out here and be careful, don't damage that lens capsule. This can be very delicate. And now we'll see how with tripan blue dye, but be judicious. Don't use too much because you don't want to inject tripan blue dye into that gap in zylar support and have the vitreous cavity fill up with blue dye. That'd ru ruin your view. Here's the main incision being made. And now the rexus. Now, interestingly, it looks like it's reasonable capsule support to get the rex. It's done a little bit of wrinkling of the capsule. There's see that? A little bit of wrinkling. That's okay. Now, remember, keep this rexus intact, round, and centered. You want to learn about some great cases this Saturday, April 6th, coming up in just a few days. If you beat the ASRS meeting, don't miss it. Saturday, April 6th, 8 a.m. We will see you there. We'll have a great time together. I promise you. Now, oh, nice, a capsule support hook. So this is different than an iris hook. This is actually a capsular hook. And see, it's a little bit longer and a little bit softer on that edge and the way that the curvature of the tip. This is going to give you great support here. This is kind of a, an artificial capsule support here temporarily while you do the FACO. I'd put in one, two, maybe two or three of them, but you can get by with just the one. I'd put a second one there to close that gap. Because as you're operating here, remember, you're breaking up the cataract into small little pieces. You don't want pieces to go through that gap into the vitreous cavity. You don't want to lose cataract pieces back there. But I like the technique here. Not a very dense cataract. I like the idea of putting in more viscoelastic. That's smart. Very smart. And now taking out the cataract, coming up pretty easily, so not too dense of a cataract, which is good. Again, be careful coming out of the eye here, because when you let the AC collapse, you get more vitreous prolapse. So you don't want to have too much vitreous prolapse here. That's going to be an issue. So you may want to check again to see if you have more vitreous being prolapsed here. And then sometimes in a case like this, doing a pars plana approach, just have infusion in the AC and then have a, a, a trocar placed at pars plana to help pull the vitreous back down is helpful. Ah, here we go, a CTR. Now, CTR being loaded up here into a cannula. And let's get that. Oh, no, it's a suture, not a CTR. That's a suture. Check it out. Okay, we're learning. So now I'm going to place a suture. It looks like a proline suture, probably a 6-0, I'm guessing. 6 proline suture. Bringing this needle now out of the eye. There we go. So now you've threaded a proline suture. So ah, I got you now. That's going to go through the eyelid of a Sioni ring. Now I get it. So let's pull that through. There it is. You can probably get the needle out of the eye now, get that hollow. There you go. So now you've got a suture here, putting it through the eye of the Sioni ring. And now use your cautery and make a flange there. Make a nice juicy flange here because this, this can be big. This is not the flange that's going to be buried in the sclera. This is the flange that's going to hold the eyelet of the Sioni ring in place. So, so as you know, Sioni ring is a CTR with an extra little appendage on it that has an eyelet so you can fixate it. So here it goes in the eye, like the big CTR, the big CTR ring. There's the extra little appendage going inside the eye. Beautifully placed, very nicely done. And now you can just put a little bit of more tension there on that blue proline suture, pull that down and get some good support and center this up where you think it's going to be pretty good. You can put a temporary clip now, or you can just go ahead and measure there and then cauterize and create a flange. And so when you create this flange, remember, don't leave it just sitting under the conjunctiva. You want that flange buried within the sclera. And instead of coming straight on, sometimes I like to do more of an angled approach. They have more of a scleral tunnel. Again, I don't, ooh, that's a big flange. I don't know if that's going to be, is that going to just sit under the conjunctiva? We're going to find that together. We're going to learn. Hey, I want to remind you, there's so much more material you could learn on cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. You have to sign up for a free daily email. You got to go download the free PDF of the Cataract Coach book. You got to check out the curriculum series. Definitely check out our podcast. I mean, our podcast is amazing. Every Sunday, a new one, and where you find podcasts. Here we go. There now, it's, a, it's nicely supported. Again, I'd like to bury that flange a little bit better. I don't like it just sitting there under the conjunctiva. Here comes the eye well going in, nice and easy. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens, monofocal lens. That looks good. Get that in the capsule bag. This patient can have a very nice outcome here. So I enjoyed watching the video here. Nice step by step approach here. Got to be cautious with trauma. You never know in these cases. And again, nicely handled with that vitreous that was prolapsed. Again, I may want to tighten up that proline suture there a little bit and have a smaller flange so you can have the flange buried within the sclera and not just sitting under the conjunctiva. 
But neat case here, a lot of great learning points. Hope you enjoyed that. And then also, I'd also put a meiotic agent down and bring down the pupil. Also, it maybe restain a tramcinol just to make sure there's no more vitreous that's prolapsed in the anterior segment of the eye. Beautiful case. Thanks for sharing. And again, remember, check out that podcast every single week, a brand new podcast everywhere where you find podcasts.